All right, the next thing we need to talk about is mixing colors. So if you are going to use paint, the colors that we have are red, yellow, blue, black, white, and green. So that means most of the colors that you are going to use, you're going to need to mix those colors. So we're gonna do a little review of the color wheel. If you are mixing for secondary color, so the secondary colors are orange, green, and violet, you are going to use 50% of the two primary colors that you're using. So if you're gonna make purple, you're gonna use 50% red, you're gonna use 50% blue, right? So they're going to be equal in parts. So if we use red and blue in equal parts, we're gonna get violet or purple, right? Regular old purple. If we use a little extra red, that's when we're gonna get an intermediate color, which is gonna be red-violet. If we use a little extra blue, that's when we're going to get blue-violet, which is also an intermediate color. So same thing happens if we need orange. We're gonna mix red and yellow in equal parts, and we'll get regular old orange. If we need yellow-orange, we're gonna mix a little more yellow, and if we want red-orange, we're gonna mix a little more red. Um, we actually have green in the bottle, so you don't have to mix for green, but if you wanted yellow green, you would take green and add in some more yellow, or if you wanted blue green, you would take the green and mix in some more blue, okay? So, here's what you're gonna be working with. Our primary colors, all right, red, yellow, and blue. Um, and this is acrylic paint, so it dries pretty quickly. Um, and it dries with sort of a plasticky type surface as opposed to tempera paint dries with kind of that chalky type surface. Black and white and green. All right, so that's just a quick review and some basic color mixing.